humans, I'm Mr. King. Chemical energetic topics. So first, what are exothermic and endothermic reactions? Exothermic is reaction that release heat. Endothermic absorb heat. Okay, so how to draw the energy diagram? So for exothermic reaction, see heat is released. Therefore, the chemical energy decreases. You have to show with arrow. Arrow pointing downwards to show that it decreases. Then label reactants and products as example A plus B reactants to form C plus D product. Then indicate the energy change. Delta H equals negative because it decreases. Okay, there's also another ways of drawing the energy diagram. You see example here. So A plus B to form C and D. Remember, okay, changes of energy is always the difference between reactants and products. Exothermic arrow pointing downwards, delta H equals to negative. Okay, and this is what we call activation energy, which is the minimum energy needed to start a reaction. Okay, always start from reactants. Yeah, then endothermic, absorb energy, therefore the chemical energy increases, going upwards, therefore you see the arrow pointing upwards. Then label reactants and product, like example A plus B to form C and D. Delta H equals to positive because of the increase in energy. And then another way of drawing it, label A plus B to form C and D. Changes of heat increases, pointing upwards. Okay, remember, activation energy is the minimum energy needed by reactants to start a reaction. So therefore, activation energy always starts from reactants. Yeah, then one more thing, remember, exothermic reaction release heat, therefore, temperature increases. Endothermic absorb heat, therefore, the temperature decreases. Okay, for exothermic, remember delta H, so-called changes of energy is always negative. Endothermic, delta H equals positive. Right, so how to remember this? is exothermic EXO. Okay, that is this Korean K-pop group, okay, so-called EXO, and those Koreans, okay, they are hot. That's why exothermic, hot, release, heat. Okay, resistance. Okay, next one. Bond energy equation. Changes of heat energy equals energy needed to break the bond minus energy released to form the bond. And the total energy to break the bond it is always the total bond energy in the reactants. Okay, energy released to form the bond it is always the total bond energy in the products. Okay, then you check the reading they obtain. If it is negative value means it is exothermic. If it is positive means it is endothermic reaction. That's it. Reasoning. Okay, let's go to some example. See, alright, look at these questions. Okay, you are asked to look for the overall energy change. Okay, so called the delta H. Remember the formula delta H equals to energy needed to break the bond minus energy needed to form the bond. Yeah, so first, look for the energy needed to break the bond. You see, I2 plus Cl2. Yeah, I2 means, you see, there's I to I single bond. Cl to Cl single bond. There's only one I2 and one Cl2. Therefore, Eb equals 151 plus 242. You get 393. Then, look for Ef. Okay, two I Cl means there are total two I Cl bond. Therefore, 208, you need two times two. So this is how you calculate. Then eventually, okay, you can sub both the values into the equation. Okay, so it goes to 393 minus 416, you get negative 23 kilojoule. But we see, value it is negative. Therefore, we know it is exothermic reaction. Okay, next one, you see, you are asked to draw a label energy diagram okay, for the reaction above. See, we know that it is exothermic reaction. Therefore, the graph it goes towards the bottom. So when you draw, make sure arrow pointing downwards. Okay, then label both reactants and products. I2 plus Cl2 reactants to form product 2 I and Cl. Okay, and also indicate the energy change. Delta H equals negative 23 kilojoule per mole. So one last thing, when it comes to the drawings of energy diagrams, can remember always include reactants, products, Okay, the arrows of the graph and also indicate the changes of heat. That's it. Very easy. Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel.
see you again bye